Yo, it's been a minute. Um, so I've been working really hard on a video for the other channel, and that's taking a really long time. Um, so that's why I haven't really uploaded on the Collectors Volume Legacy channel anymore, but that video will be very hype. But today, as you can tell from my screen, I'm going to be talking about... Now this is a bit old news, but basically talking about, is T. Brad I'm like, genuinely schizophrenic? Um, that sounds harsh, but the more and more it goes on, the more and more I believe that. Um, so basically... Warm Kono says, it seems like LO YouTubers activity has really dropped, but lots of creators given up losing faith. We are all really banking on updates being more frequent. Can you see it happening? Would it be good if you had something to remedy these concerns? What could be done? What do you mean legacy? Lucky HD says, what could be done if we had a fucking Discord to have direct communications with the developers to help them out? Oh wait, we did have a server, and it was amazing until they got paranoid and started blaming people on leaking things and ceased communication forever. And that kind of explains why Llama Train Studios doesn't tell us anything. Um, but it's, as Lucky says, very paranoid. And that's just something I've noticed with developers in general. I know the Pokemon Brick Bronze game got leaked forever ago. But at the end of the day, it's like, eventually you gotta trust someone. And if a YouTuber leaks out something, just ban them from the server. Don't ruin the fun for everyone else. Especially with YouTubers. They can give some of the best feedback for the game. Because they kind of understand what the people want, in a sense. They kind of represent the people. Um, and they want stuff that's just entertaining, which is just good for the game, because entertaining content makes, well, more views, which makes the game more fun and get more popular. Um, so it's, it's very, very interesting. Um, so Dark Sharknado says, wait, they started to blame you and other YouTubers for leaking things when you weren't. And Lucky said, yeah, YouTuber was speculated, um, speculated to have leaked from the server, and then I was dragged into it because I was friends with the YouTuber. And upon asking for proof, I did it. They literally said they had no one lol. Best part is the YouTuber never lied. It was made up by his friend. That's another thing I noticed with the Looming Legacy um, community. A lot of times, like, you're friends with the YouTuber. Hat guy got dragged into my dramas with KJD. Um, Eagle Neville a little bit, too. And it's just, like, the dramas between me and KJD. Like, what the, what the hell does Hat guy have to do with it? Um... But, again, it's like, the YouTuber never leaked anything. It was made up by his friend, and yet, they shut down the server because of a lied leak. Um, I don't know if T-Brad, I know T-Brad has ADHD, and I know he's getting treated for that. But I'm starting to, more and more goes on, I'm starting to believe he's genuinely schizophrenic. And even though that's horrible to say, it's like, just, just look at the proof, look at what's happening. Literally, no matter what happens, we get less and less communication, and then we hear stuff like, oh, they're afraid of a leak. Like, yes, a leak happened, like, six years ago. Vet the people that you hire more. Don't ruin it for everybody else. Because there's, like, literally nothing happened, and they canceled it. It's it's honestly crazy. It's... I don't know if you could tell from the tone of my voice, but it's literally, like, driving me insane. It's, it's crazy how... How incompetent the development team is at... Talking to people. Does T. Bradham go outside and talk to people in real life? Like, it's not a hard concept to generate hype for your game. Fuck, give me the job. I'll, as long as I have all the stuff I need, I have the shit fucking hyped up. Like, I would be working with the YouTubers. I'd be making sure YouTubers can release trailers and shit for updates. Getting, like, secret preview updates. Because a lot of games do that. A lot of games will give YouTubers early access to updates. I mean, like, F1 Manager. People like Erev are already playing it. Erev has, like, 100,000 subs, F1 guy. Um, not relevant to you guys. But, like, he gets the game, like, a week early to generate hype. Why can't developers do that? Why can't they do that for, like, Lucky HD, for Armenti? Or just other events they can hold. Like, like I said, put me in, coach. And I can generate fucking hype for this game with materials from the developers. But T-Pradam won't do it because he's schizophrenic. He's so paranoid that something's going to be leaked, that something's going to happen bad, that he decides to do nothing at all in killing this game. It's honestly crazy. It's so crazy, in fact, that I'm going to start, I'm working on getting a 24-7 stream. I'm getting a guy to do a custom stream background that run 24-7 with the feed of the Twitter page. I want to eventually get more people watching that stream in one sitting than people playing Lumion Legacy. And why do I think that's possible? I think it's possible because of the way T. Bradham is handling the game. With me of my mayor, like 200-something subscribers, I think I could probably beat Lumion Legacy just because T. Bradham and his team is really bad at managing hype. I'll, I'll work for free for the developers, honestly, to develop hype for the game because it's like... 
they're so bad at it. It's amazing. Um, that's really all I wanted to talk about. I'm going to go back to what I said at the beginning of the video. I am making a new channel for kind of like anime, cartoons, TV shows, just whatever I really want to talk about that's just media. Like, I'm making a video tomorrow. I'm recording it about American Wipeout, America's greatest shitpost. Um, and then I'm also working on a series with Infinite Stratos and just how shit the anime is. Um, so it's just, in general, I'm going to be just kind of releasing whatever stuff I want just related to media, whether it's manga or comics or American TV shows. Like, I want to do something on Survivor. Um, so we'll see where that goes. But I'm quite excited for that second channel. I will link that in the description. Um, and then... Other than that, I did also recently start a subreddit, r slash anime I hate, so if, if you just want to rant about an anime, go check out r slash anime I hate, but that's really all I really got to talk about. Peace.